When Aborigines walked around in this country in the past, wet season, right up to the dry season, working in the property, riding horses, all people told us to look after the country proper, caring for the country. They told us, no need to break tree for nothing. You can only break leaf for what we use. You gotta look after that part of your dreaming and all that. Oh, every tree, everyone got dreaming. That's what they what they're caring man. You know, looking after the country, they're caring for country. The caring for country, what they said, you burn up early when everything cool, no leaf burn. We used to burn up straight after rain on April, and May we burnt all through. You know, burn in some places burnt heavy, some places burnt a little bit. And all the way, that's keep the place that real tidy. But there was no leaf or tree got burnt, anything. All the tree was still standing up. Might be um, July, August, September, October. Sometimes you get that October around the lightning fire. But if the lightning started already, because you already burned up already on May and June, you know, fire will go and stop. Hot fire will come. But he'll stop our work because that already been burned and the green shoot was already there and they, they can't get burned because the grass be all isolated, see? It's a fire break. Yeah, all over. And then uh, the other places like, like this one now uh, didn't get burned. We'll go along and burn that around this around November. Make a big fire. But it won't burn the country out because he you can burn a big fire, I'll come, but rain will come, put it out. Then you go along, burn it again. Right through from uh, November to December. Then all these big, tall, green grass will come, and you don't burn then. Right up till March, April, you start again. This area we burned last year. Mm. That area we burned over there year before last. And this area we're burning this year. Mm. You know, that is three places. That's what the Aborigines were doing, the burning. When the parcelers coming in in this country, they went mad at Aborigine. They said, hey, what are you doing? Burn the feed for cattle and all this. Don't do that. No, they said, look, you burn off early, green grass come up. But if you don't burn this country, bushfire will come burn all lot. You'll have no grass. This is what we're doing. We survive the grass for all the animals. Kangaroo will come to eat, and cattle will come to eat. He said, we can leave it for this year, they said, you can look. Bushfire did come along and burn the whole country. See, we told you, they said. All this river bank here, yeah, it burned up early, all around and there, all burned up, finished. There was no leaf left and no little branch, everything, all burned down. When the rain comes, it all sink down to the ground. But up to now, if you don't burn off, all the leaves and weeds and grass, everything there, Get pushed by the flood water, going into the river, mm. building up, making big silk and all this, no? That's mm. what destroying the river, no? Mm. Yeah, big blues and then the water and silk over on top of them. Mm. And you can't see the water. And also the charcoal, you said, filters the yeah. makes the water clean. If you want charcoal again, you know, and then when they get washed off from the top, all a little stick and all that, and keep, when they went in, charcoal is one of the best to keep the water clean, really clean, even ashes, white ashes. You know, kept the water very clean all the way, all over, mm. you know. But today you see like the bushfire, you see tree burning everywhere. Mm. You know, log burning and tree and all that, mm. you know. But before you wouldn't see any of those tree burn. In the dream time, who passed the law on about the burning? Some little bat. They're the two, the one that made it. Made it happen with the fire stick. He made a fire stick and then the Yagjagula took over. The Yagjagula used it to two flints, cracked it, and lit the grass. Yeah. You know, and then made a spark come up, and he lit the grass. That's what the Yagjagula, and that's what he's still there today. You know, the lightning, lightning burn, you call it. <laughs>